Hey, welcome. We're back on Plasma. And let's launch VirtualBox again. We are playing with DWM. And that's basically what it is. Playing with all settings and all possibilities. And that's probably why Linux has this attraction over it, that it's so versatile. There is so much to do and, and it only it feels that the only limit is your imagination. And that's great. So Super C and that guy is gone. What have we, we been doing already? We've been changing around some things. And we have created this up here, a Roman tax, right? Roman numbers. The color, we've changed the color up here, up there. As I'll state is we've added HDD, the free space we have on our hard disk or SSD, right? And we have a date, but some things are left out. There is no system uh, panel there. There's no icons for PAMAC and so on and so on. What did we do? We changed some things. It's always interesting to compare the original one. This is one. This is the original one, and that's what we've changed. So comparing is melt. Melt is installed. Sudo pacman minus s melt. Let's get rid of this guy, this guy, and let me launch that again. That was by mistake. And do here. So when it's selected, it's red. Super F. These lines have been tampered with. These are no longer DWM original ones. And there are lots of things in here that still need to be discovered in the sense of keyboards, shortcuts and all that. If you're a guy who has Azerti, I have everything ready. So exclamation, e graph section. So rather than one, two, three, four, in Azerti, we don't, we don't have these things. We have other things like ampersand and all that. So I need to switch around, which I'm too lazy to do for, but then you can actually move elements from this particular one, right? From this workspace or tag or whatever it's called to super shift three, and it moves it there. So that's great if I've, I've changed this. If I, I'm going to tell the system, no, you're no longer a QWERTY system. Yes, you are an Azerti system. It has to do with beginning and end. But that's, that's okay. I can live without it. Now, what else can we change? We've changed already light, lots of things. Um, super space, let's, oops, sorry, sorry. Super space, there you go. And everything is styled again. Now, what's left to do, right? What is left to do? Let's see, what can we still change? We can float the factor. It used to be 55, right? So I'm not going to go back there. But 55 means that this guy, the left guy, is 55. So it's it ends up here. So you could exaggerate even more and say 60 for me. That the right screen is always going to be 60 because that's an important screen and you like that to be big from the start. That's an interesting thing. We've decided for 50-50. Okay. So that's something you could change. That's the new thing we've added. Well, in the future versions of DWM, I'll add it for you. So you just have to change that. We've changed some colors. This looks like a gray thing. Now we could change, that would be an idea. So the system show tray is out. So if you want it back, it's just the one. I was thinking about coloring. So gray one, gray two, and scheme normal equals foreground, background, border. We can make this whiter. I don't think it would be improvement, but this is maybe a little bit too gray. The question is, of course, which one? I don't know either, but gray three feels like it's a good chance. Normal and selected. And gray three and four are BBB and EEE. Okay. Trial and error. There's nobody who is a wizard. Trial and error. How do I do that? I do, for instance, options like this. FF0000. Red, green, blue. This means my gray three is going to change in foreground in red. Which is not my intention. 
what I would like to have it is like all white. All white means all is on. So 255, 255, 255 or FF, FF, FF. If that's gibberish, you just Google RGB and on, on, on Google and then you'll find the hexadecimal things and, and so on and so on. Let's see. Control save. As usual. Super shift enter. The heart of the system is here. We've changed something in here. If we want to see if it's working, we need to build it. Make sudo make install. And we learn. And you together with me, we learn. Is this the correct thing? Super X, log out, let the application kick in. Oh yeah, this is whiter. This is okay. For me, this is okay. The white white is not too white. It's not that it's too bright. So again, an improvement. Okay, anything else? I don't know, just keep looking at the code. You can always start more things in here. Change some keyboards in there. Config H, Europe. What else can we change? The border is now two. We could next time when we build it again, try out a border of four, maybe a, bit, a little bit big, three. Let's try three and maybe a gap that's a little bit bigger. Let's try about, well, 10 might be too much, but let's give it a try. Snap, let's do super F, snap pixels, sloppy sister and all that. Wanna maybe wanna have our sister back? Sister is back. Zero means no bar. Hmm. Why would we do that? No bar. Means bottom bar. Ooh, yeah. Bottom bar. All right. I'm already interested in knowing what's the result. I don't know about you, but I have already. How will this look at the bottom? Um, yeah. Font a little bit bigger. Often people rather like it smaller, like they were when it like kind of a hacking feeling, right? Size nine, ten. Let's do both. T menu. Everything smaller. You know, I need glasses, so I'm not happy with these settings. But just, just for the kicks, the kicks. I'll try. I'll try. And it's always the same routine, and that's great. Watching all these videos, you understand. Changing things won't change a thing. You need to sudo make install it, and otherwise, there's nothing happening. Super X log out. Now we are. We're back. We're back in business, right? And then Alt N. This is smaller and it's not too small yet for me. Still okay, I'm still happy with it. But now the menu is at the bottom and Super Shift D is a bit smaller. Yeah, I think so. So Super Shift D has been changed. These fonts have been changed. The icons are back. <gasps> the borders, we changed the borders and the gaps. Okay, the borders and the gaps. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else we can include in the video? Super F. So, super space. Ooh, sorry. Ah, <laughs> that's that happens when you're on uh, working in a virtual machine, right? Then the machine thinks, "Hey, plasma launches." Uh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? The borders. I don't think. Well, well, well. I've got an idea. What if we create the border, which is great too. What if we did this red color? That's actually our red color. Control C. What if we created the border? That's red, so would that be nice? Save. 
and the color cyan we've got already skin normal okay all right let's try that out so out you go don't want here i need to be in that particular folder to say make and to say sudo make install and of course you can keep on trying to change things oh sorry guys that was an s i'm so used to doing s i needed to do an l my little pinky says s okay what did we change <laughs> Control T, Control T. I thought we were changing these things down here. Can't seem to see if it's changed or not, or maybe we forgot it, or maybe it's somewhere totally different that it's supposed to happen. But this guy has been changed. Call grade two. Call grade two is a border of scheme normal. Okay. Is, is it in here in this red thing then of course we don't see anything that's probably the reason right border let's leave it at that other people will tell me in YouTube, hey Eric, it's, it's that particular thing or something like that. Anything color, anything, 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 anything that is interesting to show you visually. Here we're using the same colors I see, Super Shift D, but that's okay uh, that might we might need to fix that I'm just thinking about something we have two things the scripts sorry the sexy hotkey demon D menu is might be in here as well voila we have it in here as well and I suppose we have it twice unless unless I remember something unless what you do you select this control c control find control search it's the p right super p we have one as well a we've kept it in it's a standard uh, keyboard shortcut super p so that's the dwm well link or or setting and we have kept it super p is now changed is also red which is nice right cool so no doubles everything is cool anything else we can add in this video we should probably make a video with all these key bindings uh, i suppose that's going to be the next one but um they're going to change anyway so it's a bit um too early maybe to make that and these things are about floating you can watch any video about xprop so go online and find xprop um, well elements or, or tutorials or anything like it when you click on it you'll find information about the class termite class and depending on the desktop you're on and I mean then tiling window manager desktop it's either this guy or that guy and it's a difference in Linux it's a capital letter there so the capital letter matters so here we say if the class is GIMP then it's floating or not right uh, let's kill some things here bye bye ah I see what I did the not active and the active borders are gone so when we switch from window to window normally we see a different color and now i've set it the same color which is cool as well as long as you know where you are you see it here in the cursor i'm in it i'm out of it 
but it's not always visual with different applications. With the thermal, we, we see it. So we might go back on this thing here, but okay. So GIMP is floating or not, that's what we were saying, which is, is floating zero or one, true or false, XFC4 terminal, XFCE4, I'll just keep typing, terminal, the guy is floating, right, super Q and super Q again. F12, that's why it's floating, because we use our F12 drop down XFCE terminal. It's there, update, first thing do, do in the morning, F12, update, sit back, read course don't go away read what is going to be updated all right guys I'm gonna make a new package I'm gonna add these lines in here that will be nice so we have a different uh, way of uh, showing it and the rest is color change your color the way you see fit we've changed some more space well let's end with that what did we change Hello, what did we change what did we change Compare. This one can go. We've compared. Well, we've changed a lot of things already. All right. And you can keep on making changes. And that's the fun. That's the rising. And it's all for you guys to make it better and smoother and extra patches later on and so on and so on. So you have a system that you're proud of and that you're you're full, you're, you're comfortable with basically. And for the rest, it's still Arch Linux, it's still Arch Linux, it's still an, an, an operating system that's free of charge, that's always gonna work and gonna be updated. Um, so, great, right? Okay, have fun.